In this captivating video, we delve into the mysterious world of gorillas, the gentle giants of the African rainforests. Join us as we explore their fascinating lives, remarkable adaptations, and the urgent conservation efforts to protect these incredible creatures. There are two primary species of gorillas that call the planet home, the eastern gorillas and the western gorillas. While both species share a common ancestry and certain traits, they each carry unique characteristics that set them apart. The eastern gorilla, the larger of the two, is split into two subspecies. One is the mountain gorilla, a rare and endangered subspecies that lives in the mountainous regions of Central Africa. These giants are known for their, uh, their long hair designed to withstand colder temperatures. The other subspecies is the eastern lowland gorilla, which, as the name suggests, prefers the lowland tropical rainforests. On the other hand, we have the western gorilla, which also divides into two subspecies. The western lowland gorilla is the most widespread and numerous, noted for its lighter color and slightly smaller size. The Cross River gorilla, however, is the world's rarest great ape, found only along the Cross River between Nigeria and Cameroon. So why is it important to know these differences? Well, by understanding the species and subspecies, we can appreciate the diversity within the gorilla family, which in turn helps us understand their unique needs, behaviors, and habitats. The habitats of these species range from the misty mountains of Rwanda to the dense rainforests of Congo, each environment presenting unique challenges and opportunities for survival. Despite their differences, all gorillas share certain traits. They are intelligent social creatures with a strong sense of family and hierarchy. They communicate using a complex blend of sounds, gestures, and facial expressions. They are primarily herbivorous, feasting on a diet of leaves, stems, and fruits. So remember, when it comes to gorillas, it's all in the family. Understanding the diversity within this family is the first step towards appreciating these extraordinary creatures and the efforts needed to conserve them. Ever wondered how gorillas socialize and create their community? Gorillas, much like humans, are highly social creatures. They form what are known as troops, a close-knit family group that can range from 5 to 30 members, depending on various factors such as availability of food and safe habitats. At the helm of this troop is the silverback, an adult male gorilla characterized by a swath of silver hair across his back. The silverback is the undisputed leader, the protector and the decision maker. He decides where the troop travels, when they eat and where they sleep. His role is a heavy one, filled with responsibility and constant vigilance. The rest of the troop is usually comprised of several adult females and their offspring, along with a few younger males known as blackbacks. These family units are incredibly tight-knit, with strong bonds formed through grooming and play. The silverback's authority is usually unchallenged, but occasionally a younger male might dare to compete for his position. This can lead to fierce battles, but more often than not, the silverback's experience and strength prevail. In the event of the silverback's death, the troop can face a period of instability and upheaval as new leaders vie for control or the group may split into smaller factions. In the world of gorillas, family matters. Their social structure is a testament to their intelligence, their adaptability and their deeply ingrained sense of community. Did you know that gorillas are incredibly intelligent and can use tools just like us? Now don't go picturing a gorilla with a hammer and nails, but these gentle giants have been observed using tools in ways that are both innovative and practical. Take for example their usage of sticks. A gorilla might not see just a stick, but an instrument to gauge water depth or a device to check for lurking predators in tall grass. These are not random actions, they are the result of problem-solving, a sign of a cognitive process that's strikingly similar to ours. But it doesn't stop there. Gorillas have also been seen using rocks to crack open hard-shelled fruits, or even using leaves as umbrellas during rain showers, and in an impressive display of forethought, gorillas have been observed creating a food utensil of sorts by modifying twigs to extract tasty termites from their mounds. Yet the intelligence of these creatures extends beyond tool use. Gorillas can learn new skills, remember past experiences, and even exhibit behaviors that suggest a basic understanding of the world around them. For instance, they've been known to dismantle traps set by poachers, a clear demonstration of their ability to understand cause and effect. And it's not just adult gorillas that showcase these abilities. 
Young gorillas, much like human children, learn by observing and mimicking the adults around them. Over time, they master the use of tools, picking up the knowledge passed down through generations. This phenomenon of cultural transmission is yet another indicator of their high intelligence. So, the next time you see a gorilla idly poking the ground with a stick, remember, there's more going on beneath that furry brow than you might think. Gorillas might not build skyscrapers, but they sure know how to use their tools. How do gorillas talk to each other? You might think it's through grunts and chest thumping, but the language of gorillas is far more nuanced and sophisticated. Gorillas employ a fascinating blend of verbal and non-verbal communication methods. Verbal communication includes a range of vocalizations from soothing coos to threatening roars. These sounds are not just random noises, they convey specific messages about emotions, warnings and even reconciliation after conflict. But it's not all about the sounds they make. Nonverbal communication plays a vital role too. For instance, a gorilla's posture or facial expression can communicate dominance, submission or playfulness. And yes, the iconic chest thumping is a form of communication generally used by males to assert dominance or to ward off potential threats. Perhaps the most astounding aspect of gorilla communication is their ability to use sign language. Some gorillas, like the famous Coco, have been taught sign language by researchers, demonstrating their impressive cognitive abilities. Coco mastered over a thousand signs and could string them together in complex ways to express thoughts and feelings. She even communicated with humans, forming emotional bonds and showing empathy, traits that we often consider uniquely human. So, next time someone tells you they're going ape, maybe they're just trying to communicate, and who knows, if you pay close attention, you might just understand what they're trying to say. Did you know that gorillas are more like us than you might think? Indeed, these magnificent beings share an astonishing 98% of their DNA with humans. That's right, almost all of our genetic makeup is identical to that of our primate cousins. Gorillas share several other remarkable similarities with humans. Some of these include family bonds. Gorilla families consist of around 10 members, including females, children and one or two large silverback males. These families remain closely bound for life, spending time together, eating, sleeping, playing and sharing communities. Senses, gorillas have senses, smell, eyesight and taste that are quite similar to humans. However, their diet is purely vegetarian, unlike us. Hand structure. A gorilla's hand closely resembles a human hand, complete with five fingers, including a thumb. They even have unique fingerprints, just like humans and other primates. Child rearing. The gestation period for female gorillas is 8.5 months, similar to humans' 9 months. Gorilla infants breastfeed for up to 2 years, and mothers use hand clapping to grab their attention, much like human mothers. So, as you can see, gorillas resemble us in sharing both genetic and behavioural similarities. Can you identify a gorilla just by its nose? Now that's an intriguing question, isn't it? Well, it turns out you can. Just as each human has a unique set of fingerprints, each gorilla has a distinct nose print. These patterns of wrinkles and creases on their nose are exclusive to each individual, making them a valuable identification tool for researchers studying these magnificent creatures. Think of it as a natural identification card. It's a fascinating adaptation that not only helps us humans in our research, but may also play a role in how gorillas recognize one another. As we delve further into their world, we find more and more ways that gorillas are unique, each with their individual characteristics, just like us. So, the next time you're looking at a gorilla, whether it's in a picture or in person, take a moment to appreciate the uniqueness of their nose print. After all, next time you see a gorilla, remember, it's all in the nose. Just how big can a gorilla get? Let's put it into perspective. The average adult male gorilla, known as a silverback, can reach an imposing height of about five and a half feet when standing upright. That's roughly the same height as the average human. But don't be fooled by their comparable heights. A silverback's arm span can stretch out to an impressive eight and a half feet. And what about their weight? Well, these muscular mammals can tip the scales at over 440 pounds. That's about the weight of an upright piano or more than twice the average weight of a human. In comparison, female gorillas are generally smaller, weighing in at approximately 200 pounds. Their sheer size and powerful build make them the largest living primates, a title they carry with an impressive yet gentle presence. So next time you're wondering about the gorilla's size, remember, that's one big monkey business. What's on the menu for a gorilla, you might ask? 
Well, the answer is a buffet of greenery. These gentle giants are predominantly herbivores with a diet that's heavily plant-based. Think of a plate piled high with bamboo shoots, stems, fruits, and even the occasional termite or ant. It's a rather simple menu, but one that requires a lot of eating. Now, you might be wondering how much food does a gorilla need to sustain its impressive size? The answer is quite a lot. In fact, an adult gorilla can consume up to 30 kilograms of food a day. That's the equivalent of roughly 130 average-sized apples, just to give you a sense of scale. This enormous daily intake is necessary to fuel their large bodies and support their active lifestyles. Whether it's wrestling with their peers, scaling trees or foraging for their next meal, gorillas are always on the move. And yet, despite their size and strength, gorillas are gentle creatures. They don't hunt other animals and they don't compete with us for resources. Their dietary needs are met entirely by their lush forest homes. So, when you think about gorillas, remember that their might is fueled by plants, not meat. They're the embodiment of the phrase green power, and they show us that it's entirely possible to be strong, healthy and active on a plant-based diet. So, if you're ever dining with a gorilla, remember greens are always in. What are the biggest threats to gorillas today? It's a sobering question that brings to light the harsh realities our gentle giants face. The three main threats to these remarkable creatures are habitat loss, poaching and disease. Habitat loss is a critical issue. As humans encroach upon the lush forests that gorillas call home, the gorillas are left with fewer places to live. Deforestation for timber, mining and agriculture destroys their natural habitats, forcing them into smaller, fragmented areas. This not only reduces their access to food sources, but also brings them into closer contact with humans, escalating conflict and increasing the risk of disease transmission. Poaching, the illegal hunting of gorillas, is another significant threat. Despite international laws and regulations, gorillas are hunted for bushmeat, a form of wild game meat, and for their body parts, which are used in traditional medicine or sold as trophies. Baby gorillas are also captured and sold in the illegal pet trade. This not only reduces the gorilla population, but also disrupts their social structures, causing long-term damage to their communities. Disease is the third major threat to gorillas. Just like us, gorillas are susceptible to many diseases, including Ebola, which has wiped out entire gorilla populations in the past. Additionally, as humans and gorillas come into closer contact, the risk of zoonotic diseases or diseases that can be transmitted from animals to humans increases. These threats are grave, but not insurmountable. There are many dedicated conservationists, researchers and organizations working tirelessly to protect gorillas and their habitats. Through their efforts, and with the support of people like you and me, we can help ensure a future for these magnificent creatures. The survival of the gorillas is in our hands. Let us not forget that every action we take, no matter how small, can make a difference in the world. After all, we share this planet with these incredible beings, and it's our responsibility to protect them. Why is it important to protect gorillas and their habitats? As we've journeyed into the world of these gentle giants, it's become clear that these remarkable creatures are facing a precarious future. Gorillas, both eastern and western species, are classified as endangered. Their numbers have been on a steady decline due to a variety of threats. These include habitat loss due to deforestation and the effects of climate change, diseases like Ebola and, sadly, poaching. It's estimated that there are just over a thousand mountain gorillas left in the wild, the most at-risk gorilla subspecies, but there's hope. Conservation efforts are underway to safeguard these incredible animals and their habitats. These range from establishing protected reserves and enforcing anti-poaching laws to community-based initiatives aimed at promoting sustainable livelihoods and reducing human-gorilla conflicts. Rescuing gorillas from the brink of extinction isn't just about preserving their species. It's about maintaining the delicate ecological balance of their rainforest homes. These forests play a crucial role in our planet's health, acting as vital carbon sinks and supporting an extraordinary array of biodiversity. So protecting gorillas also means protecting these invaluable ecosystems and by extension, our shared planet. As we conclude our exploration of gorillas, let's remember the importance of these conservation efforts. Each gorilla saved is a testament to our ability to make a difference and a beacon of hope for their survival. Remember, every gorilla saved is a step toward preserving our shared planet. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and share this video with fellow wildlife enthusiasts.